our next topic should actually be titled finding intercepts. Meaning we're looking for x and y intercepts for our linear equation. For instance, a line could pass through the points negative 8 comma 0 and uh, 0 comma 7 in which case it has two x-intercepts I'm sorry, it has two intercepts an x-intercept at negative 8 comma 0 and a y-intercept at 0 comma 7 the points where it hits either the x or the y-axis we also looked at vertical and horizontal lines though. So for instance, if we drew the graph of x equals negative, I'm sorry, x equals positive eight, we would see that that graph, that linear equation, has an x-intercept at eight comma zero, but no y-intercept. And if we drew a horizontal line through y equals negative six, we would have a y-intercept at 0 comma negative 6 but no x-intercept. So there are different possibilities with our lines but we'll often see both an x and a y-intercept. The key thing to notice with, with each of these examples though is that the opposite variable for each intercept is always equal to 0. If we have an x-intercept y should be 0. If we have a y-intercept x should be 0. And that's the idea that we'll use to find intercepts for each of these given equations. We'll start off by finding the x-intercept for y equals negative 3x plus 3. To find the x-intercept, we'll set y equal to 0. And then solve for x. To do that, again, we can perform any operation here as long as we perform it on both sides. So we'll subtract three from both sides to get negative three is equal to negative three x. Then to get rid of that negative three, we'll divide by negative three, or we could have multiplied by its reciprocal, negative one third. On the left, negative three over negative three will reduce, and we'll be left with positive 1 is equal to x. That means we have an x-intercept at 1 comma 0. To find the y-intercept, we'll set x equal to 0. Which will give us y equals 3. Which we can also just pick up from the equation itself since an equation, a linear equation in slope-intercept form, we already know that this constant at the end represents our y-intercept. So our y-intercept will be the point 0, comma 3. In example 13, we'll take the same approach. We'll first let y equal 0 to find our x-intercept. We'll add 2 to both sides to get 2 is equal to negative 1 half x. And then here we'll multiply by the reciprocal, which will be negative 2 over 1. On the left-hand side, then, that will give us negative 4 is equal to x, since our negative 1 half and negative 2 over 1 cancels or reduces to 1 meaning our x-intercept will be the point negative 4 comma 0. Looking at our equation, since it's in slope-intercept form, we already know that that constant, negative 2, represents our y-intercept, so our y-intercept will be 0 comma negative 2. In examples 14 and 15, we have a linear equation, but written in a different form. We refer to this as standard form where we have an equation a linear equation 
represented as AX plus BY equals C. In this case, we can't obviously pick out the y-intercept like we can with slope-intercept form, so we'll have to go through that process of substituting 0 for both x and y. We'll start off by finding our x-intercept again. To do that, we'll substitute 0 for y, which will leave us with negative 3x is equal to 6. Dividing both sides by negative 3 will give us x is equal to negative 2. So our x-intercept will be negative 2, comma 0. Applying that same approach to find our y-intercept, or a similar approach, we'll set x equal to 0 and solve from there. This will become minus 2y is equal to 6. Dividing both sides by negative 2 will give us a y-intercept of negative 3. So 0 comma negative 3 will be the point for that y-intercept. We can speed that process up a little faster since we know substituting will always turn the other term to 0. So to find our x-intercept, we can just solve negative 2x minus 18 Dividing both sides by negative 2 will leave us with x is equal to positive 9, since those ca um, negatives cancel out. And we have an x-intercept at 9, 0. Then we'll solve minus 9y is equal to negative 18. Dividing both sides by negative 9 again, or by, I'm sorry, dividing both sides by negative 9 will leave us with positive 2 or a y-intercept of 0, comma 2.